a one-on-one -on -one interview earlier this morning. Here he is, the president of Virginia Tech, Charles Steger. Based on the information that we had at the time, you know, we took the appropriate steps. When we first learned of the shooting in Ambler Johnson Hall, we closed the dormitory as soon as the police got there. Uh, we were trying to determine what, in fact, the facts were. We thought at the beginning it was a murder-suicide and it was reported to me that their opinion was the event was confined to that dormitory room. Okay, let me just stop you. Yeah. A murder-suicide indicating that it was a romance, a Could be. broken romance Could or be. something yeah, personal, something, something like quote-unquote yeah. domestic. Yeah. Do you think that maybe that made it less important or less urgent, the fact that it seemed to be this inter no, intramural... No, it's, it's certainly very important, and the question is then how do you address the issue and the safety of the students? They felt the incident was confined to that building, so we closed that building immediately, surrounded it with security guards, cordoned off the street, notified all the students in the building, and we felt that was an appropriate action Let me at that ask you point. a simple question. Did you find any weapons at the first location? Uh, we did not. But wouldn't that indicate to everyone almost immediately that it couldn't be a murder-suicide because the perpetrator well, obviously it, wasn't there? It took some time to go through everything. These sites are not pristine, as you might imagine. Uh, granted, but that's 7.15. You have an exec executive committee meeting right. at 8.30. Certainly by 8.30, you knew the gun wasn't there. That's right. We had. They were already in pursuit of a suspect, and they uh, found that individual and were in the process of questioning him when we were meeting. And was that the white guy with greasy hair in the black pickup truck? Well, I don't know. But they were questioning someone who turned out to be innocent um, or not involved, well, or is he still a person of he's interest? He's still a person of interest. So there is still a bare possibility that these are two separate Could incidents? Be. We don't know. Yeah. But your heart of hearts, again, your instinct, knowing this place as well as you do, you certainly believe that the same person, the odds are, committed both atrocities. Well, I think we, we'll get the ballistics report back I hope this morning and confirm whether or not it was the same weapons, and then we'll know. If it happened at 7:15, you had your executive committee meeting at 8:30. Why not put out the all, the APB then? Oh my God, uh, you know this guy, well, this maniac is still wrong. Whenever around. you do something like this, particularly, you know, you've got 9,000 on campus, you've got about 15 or 16,000 in transit on the way to campus, plus over 7,000 employees and two or 3,000 visitors. Uh, if you don't do it right and you and report misinformation, you have chaos and so we were trying to manage that process as best we can particularly when it was reported the incident was confined to that dorm room and once now you hear there's gunfire right in Norris right describe your own personal emotions and thought process for us well that was Immediately, uh, we were already in the process of then confining the students to uh, all the academic buildings because the classes were going to change. They changed basically every hour, so we had some time to get the word out. They, we saw the police running across doing a sweep. Uh, going to the building, as you know, one of the doors was chained. They had to break into the thing. And with these two automatic weapons, uh, this uh, tragic crime occurred in j literally just minutes. And so they got there as fast as they could. What was going through my mind was we were trying to figure out what was going on. We heard the, the gunshots going off, so uh, and it was reported on the radio that there were multiple fatalities. Another shooting incident was underway. And so uh, then we uh, tried to be sure that all the security forces that we could deploy uh, were surrounding Norris Hall and trying to get the emergency people in to get the victims out as fast as we could. When you face those parents today, you know, the questions a reporter has right. pale in comparison. Right. Well, I think the uh, we're going to have to work with the parents as best we can. I don't think we can understand or even feel the tragedy that they are experiencing, and we'll have to be as helpful as supportive as, as we really can be. And will the president's visit, if indeed it happens today, be helpful? It's always good to see the president. Yeah.